this year is the census, you know, census year. And, you know, there are a lot of people trying to push this, you know, these different campaigns, asking people to write in Taiwanese. On that question, though, you know, like writing in Taiwanese, identifying as being Taiwanese, you know, what would you say kind of are identifying points of, you know, being Taiwanese? You just uh, identify yourself as Taiwanese, just writing in Taiwanese. That is, a, <laughs> that is a nature thing to do. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, instead of sure. like a, a, a political statement. Yeah, yeah. Today we have Director General Douglas Xu of Teco Boston. Teco, Taipei Economic and Cultural Office, acts as de facto Taiwan consulate to countries that do not have formal diplomatic relations with Taiwan. Today we talk about Taiwanese and Taiwanese American identity. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it yeah. is not a purpose for the censor to look into your political uh, affiliation. <laughs> yeah, 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 that yeah, is yeah. basically just where you're from. There's a lot of times when I know a lot of uh, Taiwanese or Taiwanese Americans when they talk to their friends or their colleagues, they'll get a question like, "Oh, like, so where you're from?" and you know, and they'll be like, "Oh, I'm from Taiwan." This oftentimes, you know, I've I've met this myself. A lot of my friends have met this. Is they'll, they'll it's followed up by the friend or the colleague going like, "Oh, so so you're Chinese or you know, or you're from China." And they're like, no, no, I'm not from, I'm not Chinese, I'm, I'm Taiwanese. Mm -hmm. And then they were like, oh, you're like well, one of those Taiwanese. Or like, it seems like it's almost like a political statement, even though we often say, we try to say like it's not a political statement, but a lot of people are met with this kind of sentiment. What would your advice be to kind of um, deal with these kind of situations when being questioned about our identities? Maybe I'm a Taiwanese uh, uh, foreign service officer, so nobody asked me that question. <laughs> <laughs> I represent Taiwan yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, it's a clear message. Honestly, my children, both of my children, they uh, live like following me, uh -huh. uh, live in Taiwan, United States, Taiwan, United States. Uh, when they went to the local uh, public school here in the uh -huh. United States, they were asked, where are you from? I said, I'm oh, from Taiwan. Most of the American students, they, oh, okay, you're from Taiwan. Uh, but if there are some Chinese students uh -huh. in the class, uh -huh. in a very few cases, uh, uh, there were some people who challenged, uh -huh. oh, Taiwan is part of China. Yeah. Basically, just politely uh, respond that well. Describe the uh, histories and the uh, <laughs> current political status. Yeah. And that was also a reason every once in a while I have to uh, uh, double check with my children whether or not you are familiar with those talking <laughs> points. <laughs> so, so essentially, to, to, in order to combat these kind of situations, it's really just like, let's have a discussion about it and like to know the history yeah. around these two terminologies. For uh, American people, they uh, even they have this image when you state yourself as uh, a Taiwanese instead of a Chinese. They may have this impression that, uh, oh, this is kind of a political issue or something uh -huh. like that. After we explain to them about the uh, uh, histories or the establishment of the uh, Republic of China back yeah. in 2012. Yeah. Now a voice over to correct what the director general just said. I think he meant to say 1912 instead of 2012. A bit of historical context to explain why the term ROC or Republic of China is used here instead of just Taiwan. While ROC and Taiwan are synonymous to each other now, before 1949, these were two different entities, Taiwan referring to the geographical island and ROC to the government formed in China in 1912. One clear example of differences between the two would be World War II. A question we would pose is, which side of World War II did Taiwan fight on? What do you think? A lot of people would say the Allied forces as they've seen the ROC flag on the US pilot jackets or listed as one of the victors of the war. However, the fact is, Taiwan actually fought on the Axis force as Taiwan was a part of the Japanese Empire starting from 1895 until the end of World War II. They will understand that well, PRC never yeah. governed Taiwan for one minute. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it is a, definitely a false statement to say yeah. Taiwan is part of China uh -huh. yeah, or is part of a PRC. Whether Taiwan is a part of China is an extremely complicated question because of the words that are being used. What the Director General said in terms of Taiwan never being a part of PRC or People's Republic of China is widely agreed upon. However, the terminology of quote-unquote China does make the statement more complex. We will cover it in another video. That kind of like the, the same advice that I would give to a lot of my, I'd go to conferences, I talk to Taiwanese Americans, be like, be proud to call yourself Taiwanese or Taiwanese Americans, mm -hmm. and no one should ever question you. But if someone does question you, knowing the facts, knowing the history, makes it yeah. a lot easier to talk about it, you know, mm -hmm. and not come off as just ignorant about your own your identity and whatnot you know? mm -hmm. but granted no one should ever question anyone else's identity so yeah well that is also the point that uh if the taiwanese american uh they can know or they can learn more about the uh historical background uh -huh. uh, then about the history of the uh, Taiwan, uh, People's Republic of China. We know the uh, uh, the historical background better. 
Yeah. And then we'll be able to better explain those uh, uh, facts to our American friends. Yeah. Yeah. So anyone hearing this, um, you know, check out www.oftaiwan.org and we have a lot yes. of information that you guys can learn from. <laughs> well, I know the IRP organization is uh, doing a good job to uh, let the American, Taiwanese American pe- uh, community uh, know the correct information about yeah. that. Techos obviously has this mission to help promote Taiwan and everything. How can, let's say, a Taiwanese American help um, with te- uh, Techo and you know, Taiwan's mission? We want to make friends with uh, uh, people here in the United States. If you only count on us, Techo, or Techro, so any other Techo office around the United States, we only have so limited uh, personnel. Mm-hmm. So we definitely want outside help. We want people who share the same value, who share the same ideas to work on the same issue in the United States. So I think Taiwanese American uh, community can definitely play an important role. Mm-hmm. But I would encourage uh, Taiwanese American community to talk with your local uh, techo office to see what kind of uh, activities mm-hmm. uh, techo plan to do mm-hmm. and join them. If anyone you know is interested, definitely can reach out to your local techo. It might if you're in a major city, they probably have one in there. But also, you know, there could be techo like Techo Boston that services New England area too. Make sure to also check out our website, www.oftaiwan.org, and our Facebook, facebook.com slash oftaiwan.org.